Hey there, I'm Abhishek Patel from Robust QA. I test software and I teach test automation. In this video, let's see how to read data from Google Sheet using Python. All right, so first thing you're going to need is an API that is going to access this uh, sheet, Google Sheet. In order to get that API, first you have to go to Google Developer Console, right? So here you have to create a project first. It should take you here, console.cloud.google.com. And if you have a project, it will show here a project. If you don't, just simply click here. And here, click on the new project and give appropriate name, Google Sheet Reading 02. And simply click on create. This is going to create a project. This project is for reading the Google Sheet data. Okay, so here, select the appropriate project. Let me select here the appropriate project. And now I'm going to enable the APIs. So the API, you have to go to the library and Google has this library for the APIs. So since we want to read the Google Sheet API, so we are going to type Google Sheets API. And uh, this is the API that I want and I'm going to click on enable. It enables this API for our project. Okay, here it got enabled. Click on library and Google Drive API. So Google Drive, Google Drive API. And this is the API that I'm going to enable. So I enabled a couple of APIs. One is Google Sheet API and another is Google Drive API. And now I want to create the credentials to access this API. So I'm going to uh, click on this credentials. And now there are three type of credential that we can create to access these APIs. I would suggest you to create this service account. So click on the create credentials and here inside click on the service accounts. And now service account name, give the service account name is uh, access Google API, APIs, right? And here service uh, description, this spreads will access sheet API and drive API. Create and continue and done. Okay, now click here and make sure, uh, yeah, so everything is there, service. So we got our credential created. So now click on the uh, keys and here service account could pose a security risk. Okay, add a key and uh, create a new key and here select the JSON key, create and uh, you are going to get this uh, key downloaded, JSON key. So this is the credential. This credential are used to access our sheet AB, API. I'm going to copy this and put it inside our PyCharm project, inside the data. Let me just simply drag and drop. Okay. And refactor its name, rename, and rename as secret, secret key. Perfect. So now we have secret key. So here, as you can see here, we have this client email. So we have to use this email and go to the Google Sheet student info and share that sheet with that uh, this uh, service account and send. Okay, great. So that's all we need from the uh, Google configuration standpoint. Now go back to your PyCharm. Now go back to your terminal. And here you have to download few packages. So PIP install gspread. So PIP install gspread is a Google spreadsheet. And then uh, install PIP install OAuth2 client. OAuth2 client. Okay, OAuth2 client. So 
requirement already satisfied because I already have it. And the third one is PIP install PY open SSL. Okay, so after installing these three packages, you're almost ready now. So now let's go to the uh, read write Google Sheets. And uh, now we have to import gspread first. Second is from OAuth to client dot service account import service account credentials. Okay, and the uh, last is okay, yeah, just two package we are going to need. And now we are going to need scope. Now you may ask what is scope? Scope is nothing but the endpoint to access the Google Sheets API. So here, let me show here. As you can see here, we are using the OAuth 2 to access our Google API. So this is the scope and here is the scope. Right, so here are the scope. So this couple of scope we are going to need. One is the spreadsheet, allows read write access to user sheet and their properties. So I'm going to need this one. So I will paste it here. And the another one that I will need is this one, drive full permissive scope to access all users file request this scope only when it is strictly necessary so i am going to use this okay and going to paste in here and that's all we are good so we have scope now now let's create the credentials credential to access our google api so simply uh, credential cards is service account credentials and from json key file name uh, this is what we are going to use this method and give the location for your secret so i am just going to rename it so right click refactor rename and secret key perfect okay secret key and i'm just uh, okay so right click copy path reference and absolute path and here is the path for your secret key backslash everywhere if you are on windows okay and the another argument it take is scope scopes is scope okay so we have created this credential now we have to use this credential to access the spreadsheet so g spread dot authorize and credential is this squares so we got our file uh, g spread dot authorize spreads and now i will say workbook is equal to file dot open and the name of the workbook uh, so what's the name of the workbook so this is the name of our workbook so this is the name and now sheet is equal to workbook dot sheet one okay let me clear this so everything is configured here now let's see how to print out the range of data so now let's say if I want to print out the range from starting from A2 to A5, let's do that. So I will print a sheet dot range and the range starting from A5. Let me try to just put this side by side. Okay. Now the range that I want to print is from A5, A5, okay, let's do, let's say A2, A2 and uh, ends with the A5, A5. Now let's see what we get here. Perfect, it did print out the range 
A to A2 to A5. So as you can see, Abhishek, Nick, L, Sandra, it did print out, but it does not look good. So here we can simply use value. And now let's run this and it should print out the value. Okay, did not, uh, okay, list object does not have attribute, no worries. So this is the list. Uh, so we have to use the for loop here. So let's try to use the for loop. So for cell in this range, print cell dot value. Now let's go ahead and run this. And perfect. As you can see, it printed out the name starting from A2 to A5. Abhishek, Nick, Alessandra. Okay, great. So you can also print a individual cell. So sheet dot and now I'm going to use a cell method, a cell and give the cell that you want to read. In my case, let's say I want to read Nick. So it's a A3. So A3 and don't forget the value property and run it. And A3 is Nick and Nick. So let me just summon this for loop and now run this and you will see it's going to print this statement A3, A3 is Nick. We can also print the coordinates. That means if you want to print out the uh, value at row five and column one, you can do so. So I can say print sheet dot cell. And here I'm going to pass the cell value like integer values. So let's say I want to print chemistry. So chemistry is on row fourth and the column is one, two, three, three and a value dot value. Now let's run this. It should print the chemistry. Okay, Nick for this one and chemistry here. Great. Now also you can print out the whole row if you want to. So simply type print sheet dot row, row values and now pass the row that you want to print. Let's say you want to print out the second row, simply pass two. Let me comment this and run it. And this will print out the row two. Perfect, it did print out. Also, you can print out the whole column if you want. Sheet dot uh, column values. And let's say subject, I want to print out subject. So three, run one, two, three. So it's going to print out the column here. You see, it did print out. Now let's see how to update the data. So update data. Let's comment this out first, all the print statement. Simply use sheet dot update or a cell okay first let's try to update this instead of abhishek a2 is the location a2 is location update cell and then we have to pass the value so now instead of abhishek i want um, max okay now when i run this you will notice that the cell value of a2 will update to max and you will see it will update to max. As you can see, it got updated. Uh, also, you can use this row column value update cell by row column. So if you want to update this cell, now let's update this cell. Uh, this is the row is second, row is number two, and the column here is two as well, right? So just two and uh, two. So this one, I want to update to, let's say 10. And now let's run this. And you will notice it should update to 10 and it got updated to 10. You can also update the whole row or whole range just by typing sheet dot update and now give the range. So now let's say I want to update the uh, number three, row number three. 
so it starts from a3 so a3 and uh, update still c3 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 and uh, it's going to take the list so the list of value and since it is row column so we have to give the two list list within list and now uh, let's update this uh, value so instead of nick we'll say uh, john the second value is 55 or simply 55 not the string value and the last is instead of physics i want to say machine learning great now let's see what happens to a3 and c3 this whole column should updated whole row should be updated and as you can see it got updated john 55 and machine learning that's it in this video so you can pretty much play around with this api and see how you can use it in your project i hope this was helpful thank you very much see you next time